What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to do something pretty cool with Minecraft. I don't think they've done this before, but it's something that they're doing now. Usually, you'll open up the Minecraft launcher, pick an edition and start playing. There's snapshots and different beta versions that you can try out. However, with the newest 1.18.1 update, there is an experimental version that you can use to try out the new Caves and Cliffs editions, including the new Sub-Zero Y-Level access, getting into deeper caves and things like that, and the extended build height limit. That previously wasn't released with the other update, but now you can try it in an experimental version of Minecraft, which you can't get through the official Mojang Minecraft launch room. What you have to do is grab it from the website, and that's exactly what I'll be showing you in this video here. You can get it for the normal Java version and the Bedrock version, which I'll get to in a separate video. If you'd like to see that, check the description down below. This video is only going to be focusing on the new world generation in Java available for beta testing. So simply head across to this link in the description down below and scroll down a little bit. What we're looking for is this section over here. How do I get the experimental snapshot? Installation. All that you have to do is click the link here that'll start downloading a zip. I'll open it in a new tab and it'll download simply as that. All that it contains is a folder with a JavaScript file inside of it containing a whole bunch of information. What you need to do is extract this into your .minecraft directory in a specific place. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog box. Inside of here, I'll type in percentage app data percentage and hit enter. Then I'll open the .minecraft folder and then the versions folder. Inside of here, all you need to do is drag this 1.18 experimental snapshot one folder into here out of the zip. So you can see inside of this folder is this JSON file over here. Once you've done that, you can close and delete the zip and just make sure that you've extracted it properly. Once you've done so, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher as you would usually. Now inside of here, head across to the installations tab at the very top of the Minecraft Java edition section and then simply click new installation. Under version, click the drop down, and now you should see a pending 1.18 experimental snapshot one, or possibly two, etc., etc., depending on what comes out when you watch this video. Simply select that and then click create. You can, of course, open more options and give it some more RAM, which is something I would recommend if you have extra RAM available, as this is quite an experimental snapshot and does take quite a bit of performance power. So I'll give it a name, I'll call it, say, 1.18 exp1. I'll click create and then head across to the play tab where I can click the drop down in the bottom left and then select the new 1.18 exp1 we just created. All you have to do now is click play, I understand, and play once again. After doing this, the download will start and after it's done, you'll be dropped into the main menu where you can try out the 1.18 experimental snapshot one with the raised build height limit, the new caves, etc, etc. So all you have to do is wait for this to finish. Just note that this is an experimental version of Minecraft and so will be incredibly laggy, buggy and the rest. And hopefully these are patched out slowly. If you click single player, you'll notice that all of your worlds are incompatible with this. So you need to create a brand new world and hop into it. I'll hop into creative and allow cheats on. I'll create the world and then click proceed. This will take quite a bit longer than usual, but when we do eventually get in game, you'll see why. There we go, we're now in game and you can see the FPS is not the best while the world is generating, but because we gave it extra RAM, it should be able to utilize some of it. The game seems to be using around three gigabytes, raising and falling, but it has a full 16 on my system to use. So I'll go ahead and type in game mode spectator and we'll start flying around. If we drop under the world and open F3, you'll see some interesting things are happening. As soon as we drop below Y0, you'll notice that we're now at negative 23, etc., etc., and the world just keeps going. Here is the new bedrock level at negative 64. Pretty cool. My FPS is, of course, tanking, as there's a huge number of blocks that need to be loaded in. But regardless, this is the new update, and now hopefully you can understand why it's an experimental update and not really in the official launcher. Well, simply because it's not that good of an experience to play, and hopefully you won't be creating a new world in this just to go ahead and build a full survival series or something like that out of it, as it's not going to be that good of an experience, but if you just like to try out things, it's here. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!